Welcome to Pumble. Pumble is a business messaging platform for teams. Using Pumble, your teammates can communicate with each other via instant messaging and collaborate with each other more effectively. Hi, my name is Dimitri, and of the four users in Pumble, today we're going to be covering the regular user. First things first, each user can use Pumble on the web or they can install the Pumble app on their desktop computers or mobile devices. To do this, simply sign up for an account on Pumble.com. Then it's highly recommended to install the desktop and mobile apps for iOS and Android for the best user experience. Once you join your workspace, your Pumble team conversations will be grouped by channels. As a regular user, you can create channels for different topics, functional teams, and projects. This way, you can organize your conversations in ways that best fit your team. At Cake.com, we like to use public channels by default instead of direct messages. This helps keep relevant teammates updated on the progress of different tasks and also make sure everyone is on the same page. By using public channels, we can also avoid some situations where tasks are actually interdependent, but important background information got buried in private conversation. Within channels, you can start a thread and in that way keep your communication organized. You can use reply threads instead of always starting a new message to group relevant conversations in the same thread. If you don't mess your conversations into threads, sometimes there will be other topics jumping in and it'll be a little harder to follow. So build up a habit of using threads whenever you can. Other than creating work-related channels, it's also a good idea to create some informal or social channels to help your teammates build a stronger bond. Think channels based on hobbies so that teammates can plan some off-work activities together. Things like sports, food, and music. Let's say you want to draw someone's attention to a particular message in a channel with a lot of teammates. If you mention someone in a channel, that person will receive a notification and they will be able to see the message easily by visiting the Mentions and Reactions tab in the sidebar. If that person isn't in the channel, Pumble will ask you if you'd like to invite that person to the channel. Other than mentioning teammates one by one, Pumble also provides you with ways to notify a larger audience. A channel notifies all of the members of a certain channel. It helps to notify everyone when there's a new update on a group project. At here notifies only active members who are currently online in the channel. It's useful when you have a question and would like a quick answer from teammates who are currently online. Regular users also have the option to set different preferences for the workspaces. These include notifications, themes, and the sidebar. Let's see what settings users can set in terms of notifications. First, you can choose what would you like to be notified about. This could be useful if you want to be more focused on your tasks. So you can be notified about all new messages, only direct messages and mentions, or not notified at all. You can also use different settings for notifications on your mobile phone. Same as your web or desktop app, choose between all new messages, only direct messages and mentions, or turn off notifications for your mobile. Next, you can configure your notification schedule. Once you've set it, you'll only receive notifications during the hours that you chose. Outside of those hours, notifications will be paused. You have three options for notifications. Every day in the hours that you chose, on weekdays, and custom, where you can set the time slot for each day when you want to receive your notifications. In your notification preferences, you also have the option to choose when you want to receive your notifications on your mobile phone. You can set it up that you get a notification on your phone as soon as you're inactive on your desktop app, or immediately, no matter whether you're active or not. Special notifications for each channel can be set in the sidebar. Right-click on the channel and then click Notification Preferences. There you can set notifications only for the channel that you chose. When it comes to video and voice calling, Pumble has a built-in feature for both options. If your team is on the free plan, you can have high-quality business one-on-one -on -one video and voice meetings available for everyone on any device. If your team is on one of the paid plans, you can organize group voice or video conferencing. It gives teams a way to collaborate, solve problems, and brainstorm in real time without scheduling another meeting and interrupting workflows. During a video call, you can also share your screen to help communicate complex ideas clearly so that everyone is on the same page. You can share your entire screen at once, which means people are going to see your screen exactly as you do, or you can share a specific screen. When it comes to the themes in Pumble, you have two at your disposal, light and dark. You can sync your theme in Pumble with your operating system settings. This is supported on Mac, Windows, iOS 13 and above, and Android 10 and above. Dark mode, which is my personal preference, makes working in Pumble easier on your eyes by using a darker, higher contrast color theme. Plus, purple and dark gray looks pretty cool. Next, you can choose which conversations you want to see in your sidebar. 
You can choose between all of your conversations, unread ones, and choose settings for each section from the sidebar. If you pick all conversations, all channels and DMs will be shown in your left sidebar. Once you pick unread conversations only, when you receive a message from your team members, only those conversations will be shown. The conversation will disappear from the sidebar when you read it and go to another channel. And if you choose custom settings, go to your sidebar and click on these three dots. There you'll find the option called show, where you can choose whether you want to see all messages from that section or just the unread ones. Search is an important part of Pumble. Using Pumble, you can quickly search your team's conversation history by simply using Command F on Mac or Control F on Windows and Linux. If there are too many results for your search terms, you can refine your search by using advanced search modifiers. To search for the info someone shared, you can use from at name. To search for the info shared in a specific channel, we have in channel. To search for the info shared in your DM with a specific person, we use in at name. To search only DM sent to you, you can use at your name. And finally, you have starting date and ending date to look for messages in a specific time period. So now you know the basics with Pumble. Thanks for watching and for more great tutorials, check the video description. See ya!